Bora TV. The world is thinking. Now, there are lots of stories about um, people who have compiled great lists of uh, famous people through history who have presented with uh, rather crazy symptoms. And uh, they're rather uncontrolled studies. And um, some people have gone as far as to say, well, maybe the case has been over-egged because of a few famous examples, including the ones that I have described, and that uh, the connection between genius and madness is, um, is not so clear as it might be. But the, the best evidence in favour of it comes from uh, the fact that the close relatives of creative people have higher rates of schizophrenia, and vice versa. That is, that um, psychotic people have more creative relatives. Uh, and it's quite a strong uh, connection. Um, it's been noticed for a long time. Francis Galton, in his book Hereditary Genius, uh, said, I've been surprised at finding how often insanity or idiocy has appeared among the near relatives of exceptionally able people. And he was thinking uh, quite a bit of his own family, which included the Darwins, the Huxleys, the, the Galtons, and uh, the Wedgwoods. Um, Tony Benn, incidentally, is a modern descendant of, of this uh, family group. And I leave you to decide whether <laughs> that, that is a case of genius madness or, or perhaps neither. Um, example here, Einstein had a schizophrenic son. Um, Bertrand Russell had uh, several schizophrenic relatives. Uh, they're just examples of uh, a well-sustained finding that um, relatives of schizophrenics are creative and vice versa. Now, it's interesting that um, mental disorder is actually more common in the close relatives of creative people than the creative people themselves. Um, and you can conclude from that that probably the illness impedes um, creative success. It's hard to get on as a scientist or an artist if you're completely potty um, and spending most of your day in a padded cell and straitjacket. Uh, so that's perhaps not a great surprise. Uh, but an exception seems to be writers, who, according to this Piaga et al. study, a very recent uh, and important study, writers themselves have higher rates of a lot of disorders, including schizophrenia, mood disorders, anxiety, alcoholism, drug abuse, and suicide. All of those are higher in writers, not just their relatives. Uh, Virginia Woolf being an example, who a famous depressive who uh, finally drowned herself. Um, there are plenty of others that, that might uh, come to mind. 